Hi Naptime friends, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Today we're going to be doing some acrylic pouring with Primal Flow pre-mixed paints. I'm going to be using their Royal Violet, Pacific Navy, Cobalt Turquoise, Ink and Gold, Plum Perfect, and Titanium White. And I love these paints because they're pre-mixed and ready to go. Um, to pour them, all you have to do is give them a little shake, and that's perfect for me if you're in a hurry and you're trying to do some art while your kids are taking a nap. So here we go. I'm just going to go in with my purple and my navy. I don't really have a plan for this piece. I was just going in and having fun and experimenting, seeing, you know, what colors go nice together and uh, if I could get, you know, any cells to pop up. So this technique is good if you're a beginner or, um, you know, if you're a pro, if you're more experienced at acrylic pouring. So now I'm just going to go in with my titanium white and add about five lines just to give it a little bit of a highlight. I didn't want to go too crazy with the titanium white because um, since it is titanium white, it's a little bit heavier and it would, it will sink you know, to the bottom through all your other colors. Now here I'm just going in with the cobalt turquoise and just filling in any spots that have some missing paint. Now I'm just going to add some ink and gold, not too much because it will take over. Seems like that's the case with all golds, right? And I'm just going to take my finger here and do a little finger swipe. Just kind of go through and just kind of blend the colors a little bit. But check out the top left corner with the cobalt turquoise and the ink and gold. See those cells up there? I was like, oh man, those two colors together were really selling up like crazy. So I'm just going to go in and give this a tilt and see what we can come up with. On this piece, I was going for the look of a lot of lines. I've been really digging pieces with lines lately, and I was going to um, try to pour that section on the top left with the cobalt turquoise and the ink and gold where the cells popped up. I was going to try to pour that off, but I didn't have enough paint on here. But um, you'll notice my bins, see they're totally empty from um, when I peeled my paint skins and I made a rose out of the um, acrylic paint skins. So I'll link that video down below if you haven't checked that out and I'll put a little eye card right here. It's really fun and I ended up um, making a pretty big rose with those uh, acrylic skins and I ended up turning it into a pen. So that was a fun video. You could also like turn them into um, actual roses and put them in a vase. That would be pretty too. So I'm really loving this so far, but the cells, I do not love that section. So I'm going to take a glove and blow it up and try to do a balloon um, dip or a balloon smash. See that section? I don't like it, but I'll bring it in for a little close up. Look at that ink and gold. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. It's very, very, very metallic goes really nice with basically every color. I like this little section too. It's got all the colors. So I have my little glove right here. I'm just going to go in and try to do a gentle balloon dip. And that was not good. It did not turn out like I wanted. So now I'm just going to go in and do balloon rolls on this section. So you just kind of roll it out. And it ended up taking some paint off of the edge of my canvas there. But it's okay. We'll go back and fill it in. See, I kind of messed that section up. So I'm going to pour that off. But it was an experiment, right? <laughs> see what see what would happen but it's nice it was up by the edge so I could pour it off pretty easy um, with the balloon dips and the balloon 
um, smash smashes, <laughs> you'd want to clean your balloon off or your glove or whatever you're using. Clean it off in between dips. That's what I was doing with that little paper towel over there. So I'm just going to tilt this a little bit just to bring it back down towards the center. And that's all I'm going to do to this one. I don't want to uh, tilt it anymore. See the white is kind of breaking up a little bit. Um, that's from stretching out your paint too much. So I didn't want to do any more tilting on this. But I'm kind of liking it. What do you guys think about this one? I really like it more than uh, what was on there before. So that's good. And uh, I had three fails when I was doing resin yesterday. So I was like, I got to do, I got to try to make something that's semi-decent looking. Oof, you know, resin's like, you have an idea when you do resin. And then uh, resin's like, nope, that's not happening. And that's what happened to me yesterday. But at least I learned from it. I swear every time I do resin, I learn something. But let me know what you guys think about this one down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I hope you guys are all having a great day. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys on Wednesday for another video. Bye, guys.